Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars Vintage Collection action figure review. We've got Bo-Katan Kreese, and I am beyond pumped about this figure. I've already looked at it in person, out of the card, thanks to my homeboy Lockie. Appreciate it, dude. Um, you're loving this card art, honestly. That's just a fantastic picture of Bo-Katan, uh, or Bo-Katan, however you want to say it. Um, yeah, this figure looks to be one of the best in the Vintage Collection so far. Fantastic stuff, Hasbro. Um, she is VC226 and yeah, still just hanging out for Lobot and Lobot, that's it, that's the last one I need from the wave, so I'm not going to worry about the Rebel Soldier, I got him years ago, and I'm not, I don't need another one, he's not really an army builder, he's more of a general to me, sort of a, you know, ranking officer, I guess, but yeah, we have recently done reviews on Bit Fortuna, Quill, Mithril, Lando, IG-11, and now Bo-Katan to uh, round it out with Lobot to go, obviously, but yeah, really loving this card art, and I'm going to go and ruin it by ripping it off the card, so <laughs> let's let's do that and uh, take a look at the figure inside. All right, here is Bo-Katan out of Bo-Katan, out of the packaging, I don't know how to pronounce it, I don't know how to say it. Um, yeah, she's fantastic. This is a really, really nice figure. I think it's an absolute no-brainer that we're probably going to get Cosca Reeves in Vintage Collection Scale 2. Just makes sense, you know. You know, the way they the way they basically just gave her a repaint and uh, did it for the Black Series. Um, yeah, this one is almost a little bit better than the Black Series one, in my opinion. I just... I don't know. As much as I love those figures, those Black Series, this one is just really nicely done. And it's hard to go past the the, uh, the nice 3.75 original scale. Um, it's just killer what they've done here as well. Now, we've just seen recently with a couple of the Mandalorian releases, mainly the deluxe one that came out with the swap out head for the helmet, which is absolutely fantastic. You know, brilliant decision there. Um, yeah, we're getting the same, same treatment here with Bo. Um, so, yeah, literally, instead of having a sort of in the past, we've had to have a head sculpt sacrificed for a helmet or, you know, a helmet sacrificed for a head sculpt and come out sort of too big. And it just hasn't worked. Whereas here, we've got to swap out head and uh, it works perfectly. You get the best of both worlds, I think. Because, you know, you've got her hair that sort of comes out the sides of her sort of headband there, I guess. And uh, yeah, you'd be limiting that sort of sculpt to have a helmet sort of squash over that. A bit like the Black Series, like I said. Um, that one worked all right, but um, yeah, this is just fantastic. Uh, yeah, let me pop that head back in. And great likeness of, of Katie Sack off there. It looks fantastic. Accessory-wise, obviously she comes with her helmet. It does come with a couple of these, which Fit nicely into the hosters there, which are in a bit nicer, more accurate colour. It's a bit of a snug fit, but that's all right. It looks good because the uh, Black Series one they were really sort of orange, and these ones are sort of a nice brown maroon sort of colour, which is really good. So I'll put the other blaster in her hand here. Fits in there very nicely. So you see the trigger finger just sort of slots in that gap beautifully. That's really nice. And uh, also jetpack is removable. Got a nice sort of solid peg there. That's not going to go anywhere. It's nice and snug fit. You can definitely uh, just super glue that in if you were interested to uh, stop it from falling out. But yeah, really really impressive sculpt i think it looks really nice nice paint apps i like the sort of the shoulder armor is sort of a part of you know the the top of the chest sculpt there so not hindering any articulation by having it molded to the um shoulder there which is nice you know in this sort of scale um the joints don't feel sort of tight at all um which is nice you know they're pretty free flowing easy to move um you know we've had some figures recently that you know, they come a little bit tight, a little bit stiff. Um, and yeah, these, these these ones feel a little bit more fluid. I don't feel like there's any sort of extra plastic sort of gumming up the joints, which has happened in the past. And uh, yeah, with Quill, 
they've changed the way they're doing the uh, the ball hinges in the uh, what's a pretty picture, isn't it? Um, <laughs> in the thighs, because uh, yeah, they usually do the sort of hinge, which definitely sort of hindered the sculpt on a lot of figures. But now they've gone with this route and gone with the ball and socket, so that's absolutely fantastic. That allows for some absolutely fantastic. Articulation and posability there, really nicely done. I, like, I really dig that a lot. And uh, yeah, I didn't put it in my quill video, but uh, yeah, people are saying, you know, that leaves room for a blurg. And yeah, I'd like to see Boca Tan riding a dinosaur of some sort. I think that look cool. But yeah, the posability is just so good. You know, you get her in some awesome sort of action, flying shots, like, choo -choo 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 -choo. so good. Launching back. That looks so good. Love it. I really, really love this figure. But uh, yeah, some of the other details on it. You have the uh, Night Owl symbol there on each shoulder, which is really nice. It looks great. And yeah, just the overall paint apps on this thing is just really, really nicely done. Nice and clean. And uh, yeah, showing us again that uh, Vintage Collection can be amazing again. Just a little bit more, a little bit more love and effort. And uh, yeah, we can get absolutely out of the park figures. So, you know, keep it up Hasbro. Keep, keep giving us this sort of quality and uh, we will cease to complain as much. <laughs> We're still gonna complain a bit, I think, but uh, that's okay. If we don't get feedback, you don't know what we want. So yeah, really, really nice figure. Again, I'm gonna swap out the heads and get a nice, Fully armored. It's a bucket tan shot. So good, love it. Yep, fantastic. Love to hear you guys' thoughts. Please comment down below. Light it up. Hit that thumbs up, please. That would be awesome. Really helps. Really helps the videos. I was trying to work out whether the uh, rangefinder is movable, but it doesn't seem to be. It's just. Yeah, I'm, I'm neglecting to sort of try and move it, so I'm not going to. That doesn't matter if it doesn't, but it looks like it could be, uh, looks like it could be posable, but yeah, it's, it's not going to budge right this second, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But yeah, really nice figure. Again, please comment down below, let me know what you think. Who else do you wanna see in the vintage collection in the future? What are some cool characters? Bo-Katan is fantastic and just been a big part of Star Wars in the last probably 10 years, honestly, throughout all the Clone Wars and Rebels and etc. So, uh, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate it. Till the next video, may the Force be with you always.